That's how I open my season eight. Oh God. Oh. Okay, I ain't got time to measure them all. Bam. Please. Are. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, I know I always like do business videos, sit down videos, but I wanna switch up my channel. Like I don't want my channel to be all business or all one this or all one that. I want my channel to be diverse so you guys can know me and so we can have a little fun, okay? But today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm actually gonna cook for y'all, okay? I'm gonna cook, y'all, are y'all excited? Me, cooking? Like, but the reason why I'm cooking is because I got Jay Nice's cookbook in the mail. If you guys don't know who Jay Nice is, she is a popular Instagram influencer. She has a clothing line called Closet Envy. She has a, she does fitness, and she recently started doing cooking. She has an Instagram where she be cooking some bomb ass food. Her food be looking so good, and she has like a whole cooking line, and she has this cookbook. So I was super excited to get this in the mail. I bought this cookbook because. Um, I'm trying to learn how to cook so I can cook for my future husband, okay? But this is the cookbook. I'm going to link her cooking Instagram down below um, so y'all can check it out so y'all can see. Um, but I'm going to be cooking these salmon. They're called salmon bites. So if you guys were on my Instagram, if you guys... Um, Saw my Instagram yesterday. If you don't follow me on Instagram, watch this whole video first, then go follow me on the gram. You guys will see that I um, put up a poll. I picked four things out of the cookbook that I really wanted to cook, and I was like, what do you guys want to see me cook? A lot of people voted the salmon bites. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find a picture of them. So this is what they're supposed to look like. The salmon, they're spicy salmon bites. My bad, y'all. It's salmon sucks. <laughs> Spicy salmon bites. Try to say that three times fast, okay? Spicy salmon bites. This is them. Um, and I'm gonna cook some yellow rice with it. Now, she does have a recipe in here for yellow rice, but she makes her yellow rice by hand, and I'm making my yellow rice by already done. Just gotta boil it. <laughs> um, I'm being a little lazy, but yeah y'all so that is what i'm cooking um i already ordered the stuff from instacart i'm going to pick it up from publix because i'm too lazy to walk in a grocery store so i'm going to go pick up my groceries and then we're going to get started so yeah i'm gonna go get my groceries and i'm gonna take y'all with me so let's go all right so y'all i just got the groceries and i'm about to go back to the house and i'm about to cook um, but y'all want to know what's so embarrassing? Well, it's not really embarrassing, but like, I've had my car for like a year and some change, y'all. And oh shit, <laughs> I've had my car for like a year and some change, and I don't know how to open the trunk from the inside of the car. Like when the girl was putting my groceries in the car, I had to turn my car off, get out, open the trunk from the key, and get back in. And I know she was probably like, "Girl, what, what, what?" Like. That's just, that's just sad as hell. That's just, it's just sad. It's just, it's just sad. It's just sad, but yeah, y'all. So I'm about to go to the house and attempt to cook this food. And then I'm gonna meet y'all at the crib. If you live in an apartment, y'all need to invest in a cart, okay? This, this right here will save your life, sis. I'm trying to tell you. Now it's a little, eh. You know, hopefully this don't fall off, but, oh, shit, I spoke too soon. <laughs> but, yeah, I got this from Walmart. This will save my life. I may have to hold this. But, you know, so I'm going to try to get this in my house, y'all, and then I'm going to see y'all in the crib. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Okay, so... We are here, we are about to make the spicy salmon bites and some salmon. So the first thing that I'm reading directly from the cookbook. So the first thing that it says is preheat the oven to 400 after rinsing the mixture with what? You always rinse your meat. So we're gonna go ahead and start this bad boy up. One moment's place. Okay, back. 
Then we got the salmon right here. So it says diced salmon, but I couldn't find any diced salmon. So I'm just gonna take the salmon and I don't even know if they sell salmon in like a dice kind of form. So I'm just gonna take the salmon and cut it up to the best of my ability. So this is our girl right here. And I'm just gonna wash it down with some water. So I already went ahead and rinsed it and clinked the salmon. So I'm about to, all right, so. The salmon is nice and rinsed. So in the cookbook it says, okay. Dice the salmon up. So let me get in. Okay. So I'm gonna try to cut this to the best of my ability. So I'm gonna speed it up while I try to cut this. So it ain't gonna be cookie cutter neat but I'm gonna make it work okay so I'm gonna speed this part up dice because honey that was hard to cut okay that was I don't know. yeah so that was extremely hard to cut um the next one is to place the salmon in a mixing bowl so let me get a bowl I don't have a mixing Okay, so I don't have a mixing bowl per se, so I'm just gonna use um, what I got. <laughs> um, okay. So we're gonna place the salmon in my, what we're gonna call a mixing bowl today. So in the mixing bowl, we're gonna season it with minced garlic, so this stuff right here wrong one teaspoon so i ain't really a big measure so i'm just gonna take a spoon full dump it in there okay then garlic powder we don't have garlic powder though one teaspoon so i'm just gonna Pour it into there. Bam. And then uh, yeah. parsley. Okay, whatever. So I'm just taking a spoonful of everything. Parsley, then blackened seasoning. So this is a blackened seasoning. That's how I open my seasoning. <laughs> I ain't even got time, like just bam, just stab the hoe. Um, okay, stacking up. How much should we put in there? Okay, where's my spoon? And then Blackened seasoning. Okay, and then um, cumin. So this stuff right here, cumin. Again, 
quickest way to open your seasonings. Okay, I put y'all on. Okay, I ain't got time to measure them all. Bam, there we go. And add olive oil. So let me get my olive oil. So I'm mixing it to the salmon. Now we're going to line a bake sheet with parchment paper. What is that? I'm gonna get some little oil. <laughs> I got no parchment paper, whatever that is. Pan, it is a little old and it's been through it. So excuse how she looks. Um, it says parchment paper, but I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I do got aluminum foil, so we're gonna substitute it for that. Um, Okay. Calm down. So it says place each bite equal distance apart and cover the baking sheet with aluminum foil. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna place each one of the bites. They look so disproportioned, but they're gonna be good. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing, sorry. Okay, so I'm just placing the bites on the tray separately. Place them with aluminum foil. I kind of cut a lot, so that's what I'm trying to like. Okay, and then cover it with aluminum foil. Cool. So now I'm getting ready to put this in the oven. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about eight minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and jump to making the sauce while this is cooking. All right, so now we're getting ready to make the sauce. <clears throat> um, first it says add butter. This wasn't, does it say how much butter? Two tablespoons, so this is a big glob of butter. Okay, and then it says you add sriracha sauce, so it's this. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, just be opening stuff just like that, so. Oh God, oh Lord. <laughs> okay, sriracha sauce, ketchup. And of course the ketchup is not open. Where's the, here we go. Ketchup and crushed peppers. Alright. 
Okay, so let me get a, I can use this. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so this is the sauce. It don't look like too appealing right now. Um, the sauce has to melt. So, it's will keep melting now. So this is like the spicy sauce that's gonna go over it. So I put it on like low, so it doesn't like look too much. So I'm gonna check on the bikes really quickly. Okay, so I'm about to, sorry that the lighting is, my ring light is over there and we over here. It looks a little dark but i'm about to check on the bikes i have to the instructions say that i have to remove the um oh i hate ovens lord oh i hate the oven i hate the oven oh lord okay all right so i just took it out now I gotta remove these. So this is what they look like right now. I just have to flip them over. I'm a little scared because these is hot. Yeah, I took it out like a, maybe like a second early. Okay. Um, so the instructions say remove the foil. I just did that. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna go flip these over and then put them back in the microwave. I mean microwave, Lord. Put them back in the oven for like another six minutes and so let me check on the sauce real quick the sauce is actually uh, let me put a little bit more butter in here so it can be a little thicker where's the thing is just give it so i'm gonna put a little bit more butter in the sauce so it can be just a wee bit thicker And we're gonna let the butter melt on this kind of slow. Um, so yeah. So let me turn these over real quick. So I'm put these back in the oven for another six minutes. Oh, for some reason my phone started over. Um, let me cancel this and put that back in the oven for another six minutes. Um, let me check on this sauce. Okay, so the sauce gonna do what it is. I think the sauce was a little thicker, but whatever. Um, it's just going to go on top of it, so it really don't matter. So, let me try to clean up my kitchen a little bit. Cause my kitchen, it don't look that bad, but... Sis, let me bring it out to the light. Okay, so... The sauce is done. I'm waiting for the salmon bites i flipped them over as i saw in the video um so right now i'm just cleaning my kitchen up a little bit oh yeah let me turn it over this way so y'all can see me i'm just
water pet fell. Set up all of my hands. Yeah, that already gets you. Like, ooh, y'all clean. This is Windex, but it's multi-surface Windex, so I guess it's okay. But y'all, this smells so good. Like, wait a minute, I've never used this type of Windex. Oh, go make some rice. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it no more. He's kind of hungry. Thing <laughs> for the, we got one minute left. We just waiting for the bites to come out of the oven. And this is, let me show y'all the sauce without seeing the sauce. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all probably can see that. I'll show y'all then. Um, but yeah. I'm obsessed with the way this Windex smells. This is all purpose Windex. So I'll be waiting. Let me put y'all on to my favorite wine. So y'all know I love this wine, the Cote de Rose. Y'all can see Y'all know I love this wine. And they have it in the dark version and this smells, I mean not smells, but this tastes so good y'all. It low key tastes like grapes. Kind of like a grapey taste. It's like an alcoholic grapey taste. This is so good. This is my favorite. Okay, so it's time to take the bites out. So, to show y'all, taking it out the oven. Oh. Okay. All right, y'all, I have taken it out the oven. So, I'm gonna get a bowl and I'm putting them in the bowl and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so y'all, these are the salmon bites before I get ready to put the sauce on them. This is how they look in. They don't look that bad, actually. They look good. So now we're about to put the sauce on them. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and put the sauce on them and, um, now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did eat them a little bit. <laughs> I know I was supposed to try it with y'all, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I got a little anxious and I did eat them, but y'all, they are so good. This is what they look like. Um, This one actually looks like a nice square. They're supposed to be diced, but you know, I had a hard time cutting these. These are really good, and I'm not just saying that because, I'm not just saying that because I cooked them, because if I cooked them and they was nasty, I would tell y'all. Like, I don't play by food now. I don't play by food. These are really good. J Nice did her thing with this recipe. Shout out to J Nice. Y'all go get her cookbook. Because this is good. This is really good. Y'all go get her cookbook. Because she knows what she's talking about. For these are good okay these are good well uh, all right i'm tim i need to go get some juice because i'm starting to feel that cilantro in my throat <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video